Okay, in this lesson, we're gonna have a look at the Avacode user interface. So, as you can see, the interface is divided in multiple sections. So, on the left, you have the tools. With a key H, or so by choosing the tool, you can choose hand, which basically allows you to move the canvas around. On the Mac, by the way, you can also use the touchpad in any other tool. Up next, you have the selection tool, the key is V, which allows you to select different layers like this, or you can also multi-select. Next, uh, there's the measure tool, which is very important. So if you have chosen something, you can measure against other layers like this. Okay, up next we have the color tool which allows you to pick colors from individual pixels. So you can either just click around to pick different colors and you can see they're all collected right here. If you want to be pixel perfect and let's say choose some particular color shade, just hold your mouse and drag around to inspect individual pixels. And you can see that the color code is again changing. When you release, the color code is copied to a clipboard and you can simply copy it where you need to. And the last tool is the slice tool, which allows you to create particular slices of the design. Again, you can see that this area is changing contextually. You can create multiple slices at once and just by hitting the delete key you can get rid of them. Okay, up next we have the layer panel uh, which has all the layer structure uh, copied as it was in the sketch file so you can see that the, the groups are actually nested and you have the paths here, uh, we have text layers you know and if you like, you can, for example, hide the layer. So just by clicking on the eye, you can hide it in order to inspect something that might be below the layer. So this is actually very useful. Um, if you want to get rid of layers, just click on this button. All right, let's talk a bit about this contextual inspector panel. You have probably noticed that when I'm clicking on different elements, it keeps changing. So when you select an image, the image is actually previewed here. So you can export it and you can also see the image dimensions. You select a text layer, for example, you can see all the text and simply copy it to your clipboard. Um, and below you can see the code of the actual layer. This code is currently in CSS and is generated based on the styles of this layer. So you can see the width, you know, height, uh, the color of this text layer, the font family, the font size, font weight, uh, how strong the font is, and the line height between the lines here. Okay, if you'd like to take a look only at the layer styles, you can do that by simply switching to styles and again, all the styles are represented like this here. By the way, you can further uh, switch between different code languages from here or also customize the code settings to a liking. If you'd like to copy code, you can either select a particular value or just by clicking on a line, you can copy the line. By dragging over a few lines, you can copy multiple lines at once or you can simply copy the whole code snippet. Below you'll see variables. Uh, this feature is pretty handy if you're using variables in your dev stack and you wanna basically customize your uh, output, for example, you know, to have a variable for everything that's, that's yellow in your code. So you can create a variable like this or you can simply import the list of your current variables. Below you can see that uh, you can actually adjust the zoom of the design, but you can also 
you know, zoom in and zoom out just with your mouse. Next, you can see the design settings. We have partially set already when we were setting the project. Uh, so let's just quickly go through this. The design scale, uh, we don't really need to change that because this design was designed in 1x. And let's take a look at the interface units. So the measurement units are uh, set as pixels, that's correct. Uh, we could also use points or density independent pixels, but pixels are fine for web. And the color format is going to be hex as well. You can see that you can choose RGBA and many others here. Okay, let's just save this. And last but not least, uh, you can use uh, designer guides and also create your own guides uh, in order to you know measure elements uh, better. So here you can, for example, show the the guys that were already in Sketch, and you can simply uncheck this to hide them again. Uh, additionally, you can try if there's grid in this design. Probably not. Uh, what about layout? Oh yeah. Okay. So there is uh, an actual layout for this artboard so you can toggle this as well and if you'd like to you know create your own rulers or guides just check my guides and drag a particular line from here or just drag it to the side and to the top so, excuse me to get rid of it okay so this is pretty much it oh and one last thing if you click outside the design canvas you can actually see all the styles that this artboard has in common. So here we have a list of all colors and we can simply copy them just by clicking on them. Or you can also see the fonts uh, that are uh, that appear in this design. So here it is the Source Sans Pro Semi Bold and the Source Sans Pro. And you can also you know look it up on Google Fonts view it in your type kit and just by clicking on show layers it's going to show you all these layers that have the same style in common by the way this works also for colors so it's going to show you that there is only one layer that's yellow or you could go to white and again show layers and it's going to show you multiple layers that are white up here you have the list of all artboards in this file, but you already know that our file only has one artboard, so there is no need to switch. Next, you have the version switcher, which allows you to go through different iterations of the design. By the way, if you wanted to uh, add a new version of this design file or any other file, just drag and drop it, the edited design file on top of this view or back in the project manager. All right, if something about the design is not clear to you, you can switch to comment mode and, you know, just click and type and create the annotation. Or you can also just select some area and again, just, you know, comment on it. Pretty straightforward. Next, you can share the design file. So, you know, simply copy the link and paste it to your colleague. Then you can also edit the design settings. So you can switch between design scale if the pixel density of the design file is different. This design was designed in 1x, so we're gonna keep that. And if you'd like to change the units, uh, you know, from pixels to points or density independent pixels, you can here. Here you can switch between colors. We're gonna keep it on hex. Right, and uh, you can also download the sketch file and so on. If you'd like to search for other files, use the search right here. And let's say coffee bar, and you'll see that it instantly finds all of our files that match this name. Hit escape and go back. Uh, here you have, you know, all the information. So you still need to verify your email and everything else about your Avacode account. Okay, so now that we understand the Avacode interface, we can actually start coding. So we'll see you in the next lesson.